Please, no! Oh, it's you, Corvo. Thank the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia is the only one who ever showed me any kindness. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. I can hide here for as long as it takes. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throne. Gonna be a great party tonight. I was only a kid at the last coronation. If we even make it to tonight. Will you look at this mess? Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. Poisoned, thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. Threw the mask in the river, left out. That's what a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwin girl from him. The whole time they were working with him. I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. The criminal mind, huh? So what's he doing now? Waiting. He's probably watching us right now. With that crazy mask on him. Creeping closer and closer, ever closer, until... Cut it out. What's so impressive about Corvo, anyway? Who's he got up against? A couple of high overseers, a couple of noblemen? He could never stand up to men with our training. Well, now I do hope he shows up. I want to see you run crying for the cover of the tall boys out back. Like you were, the other night. What was I supposed to do, stand there and get hit by rocks? They were just kids. They were a gang. I hope Lord Regent Havelock sends the tall boys in to level the place. It's gonna be a new era. Having a ten-year-old on the throne isn't gonna cure the plague. High Overseer Martin says it will. He says we were cursed when the Empress died by Corvo's black magic. And the rats are never gonna leave until we had a real Caldwin back. He says the Outsider follows Corvo around. There's some curse on this city, that's for sure. 
I'm still trying to forget working in the flooded district. Don't remind me. Before we go, I'm gonna stash a few bottles of wine from the cellar. Take them out of here with us. Just make sure Corvo's not hiding down there first. Maybe you're right about that guy. Men are still trying to penetrate the workshop. I think Piero Joplin's inside. That crackpot natural philosopher. Ah, there is evidence that Anton Sokolov was held here against his will for some time. We can't determine what happened to him. I'll bet my commission he's in that building with Piero Joplin. Mm -hmm. If so, arrest him. But I don't want him harmed until I get to the bottom of all this. Mm -hmm. Careful. The place may be booby trapped in a. Servants were all executed shortly before we arrived. Looks like a naval cutlass and a small bore pistol. Looks like Corvo ran amok before he left. Turn this building inside out. And it goes without saying, this area is sealed. Still walkers at all points. And stay vigilant. Corvo's the most dangerous man in the Empire now, and he has nowhere else to go. Never thought he'd bother us again. I guess he holds a grudge. <clears throat> city get any worse? Never doubt it. Corvo, I can't believe you're alive. They killed everyone, Corvo. They killed everyone to cover it all up. Then they took Emily with them and they left. I couldn't do anything to protect her. Please find her. Make her safe. All his talk of being an honorable military man. But Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. Something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died. Building up, Martin was acting strange, going quiet if any of us were near, whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had, and worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. They would have killed me too, but Havelock spared me. 
Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. Please, talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much, and she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the Watch won't see him. The City Watch is everywhere out there. But I don't even care if they find me anymore. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you to Emily. One last trip, I expect. I had one job. Take care of Emily. I tried as best I could. It's refreshing to converse with someone on my own level. Couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the Academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want to ask you... About the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. But it's forced me to work with another agent derived from... The river crusts, yes, I'd guessed as much. But I think our approaches may reinforce each other. This is what we've been lacking thus far. <clears throat> Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Ark Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. I'll make what you need as long as I have the necessary materials. We need that blueprint. With that, we can complete the job.
Why is no one making rounds over here? This better not be a joke. What? Why is no one making rounds over here? This better not be a joke. <laughs> Astonishing. The Ark Pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corp? As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? When this Ark Pylon is charged, no one will dare come near us. beyond my greatest expectations. It defies description. A device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned. I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. As to the good Admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high-minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton, though I suspect he was just lazy. But no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close to real power. Once you start ordering people killed to get your way, everything else is mere detail. I return to my work now, and you to yours. Killing people, I mean. I sincerely hope it goes well. We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he remembers that.
This Piero of yours. A strange mind. But then my own is strange as well. If they're all. Goodbye, Corvo. I wish to apologize for what was done to you. It seems that holding all the pieces and standing a step from the throne changed something in the others. Something I don't understand. Don't underestimate Havelock, Corvo. He'll be waiting. I can't go with you. I'll be okay here. Just go. Thought I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We'll need to get out of here soon. The Admiral controls the military now, Martin's high overseer, and Pendleton's in favor with the aristocracy and Parliament. They need Emily, of course. But if Havelock senses that it's all about to fall down around him, who knows what he's liable to do. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. <laughs> <laughs> 